Hey there, this is Simon. In this video, I'm going to show you some batch files that I've created that will allow you to open up KeePass without having to double click on the application. In fact, we're going to take it a couple additional steps. I'm going to show you a batch file that includes my KeePass password. So when you run the batch file, it automatically opens up KeePass with no password request. And then the third option is um, creating a batch file that includes a password in your key file. Finally, I'll show you a easy batch file to create that will close KeePass automatically. Now keep in mind, these are also command line options, so you can actually run any of these from the command line. So if we just right click on this and go to edit, this is the batch file I created to open up KeePass. So you can see it has start and then two quotes and then the full path to where KeePass EXE is. is Notice how I have double quotes around here because there's actually some spaces in here. So if you have a space in your full path, then you're going to have to include this in quotes. And then here, the second option here is um, uh, where my database is. So you can see this is the path to my KDB file. And also note that there's no quotes here because there's no spaces here. So I mentioned these are also command line options. So I'm just going to copy this and go to the command line. And if I just paste this in here, it hit enter, key pass will actually open up. So pretty basic. At the same time, I can actually put this on my desktop, which is a good option here. So now I can just come in in the morning, double click on that up automatically. Now you also have the option to include your password. Now I'm not a big fan of this because I basically don't like keeping my passwords that are accessible by others. But if you wanted to do that, that's your choice. So what you would do is using that same um, bash file we had before, this one here with no password, we can add the password. So the path is the same, it's just at the end we have the switch. So it's the minus sign, PW, colon, and then whatever your password is. And of course, as note, I would never ever use a password of one, two, three, four <laughs> as well. So now if we actually double click on this, see it open up automatically. Pretty cool. We'll go to this next one. You can also include your key file if you wanted to. So same path as before with the password and now we have another switch you can see it's key file minus key file colon and then whatever path you have where your key file is so e for myself is my usb drive finally if you wanted to close key pass you can just create this in a batch file so once again it's the path to where the key pass exe is and with this switch So let's go ahead and start key pass. And while it's open, let's double click on this. And you notice key pass closed. And if you've never created a batch file before, very basic stuff. I'm just going to copy this one here. I'm actually taking a shortcut here because that way I don't have to type it in again. But to create a batch file, say you wanted to create a batch file on your, on your desktop. You can just right click, go new, go new text document, give it any name. And instead of keeping it as a text file, change it to a BAT for batch. And we're going to say yes to this. Now, the important thing is here is you're not going to double click on it to open it. That'll actually execute the batch file. So it's a little different than a normal text file or Word document you would normally double click on to open. Instead, just right click on it, go to edit. From here, I'm gonna paste in my text. Of course, you are probably gonna just type in your text and that's it. Click save, click exit. So now next time I double click on it, I'll run that batch file. And that will run that batch file and that's it. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.